If you're a fan of the show, you know how big I am on lighting. If you've got recessed can lighting in a place like a living room or a hallway, something like that, I hope that you have considered changing out those normal downlight trims to what's called a gimbal trim. That's a movable trim. Sometimes it's called a wall washer so that we can get that light from going straight down onto the floor to against a wall so we can light things like art. If you've started to do that with the trims in your recessed can light, then congrats, you've already taken a, a big step toward a more dynamic and beautifully designed home. However, if you want to take one more step into the big leagues, that art that you're trying to light up, it will glow in far more drama if we just light the art itself and not the wall around it. Well, how do you do that? Simple, you just buy like a $400 trim for your recess can light. And if like me, you're not in the mood to do that, here is a simple hack. I've taken this standard gimbal and I have taken a piece of a two inch PVC pipe. This pipe cost me a whopping $2.05. Cut a two and a half inch long segment to the pipe and I have super glued it onto the front of the gimbal. It is called a snoot. Snoots are used in theatrical lighting, they're used in stage lighting for movies, and they are used exactly to control a beam of light when you haven't paid big money for the lens itself. A little bit of super glue, a little bit of black matte paint for the inside so that it doesn't glow. Let's go see what kind of effect it has in the house. Here's a piece of art hanging on the wall with just a standard down light lighting the floor. The art is there, nothing impressive about it, and the light on the chair is way too hot and harsh. Okay, now we've changed out the downlight trim to a gimbal and we're washing the wall. 100% improvement, but can we make that art pop even more with our snoot? And boom, there it is. Beautifully accented art, darker walls, it really pops. Gallery quality effects for a $2.50 DIY hack. You are welcome.